in the shadow of rising health awareness, the stark relationship between alcohol consumption and wellness has become too significant to ignore. How much is too much and are you unknowingly crossing the line? The answer isn't merely academic, it concerns something far more personal. Your health and longevity. Every year, thousands of lives are detrimentally affected by alcohol-related diseases, spotlighting the urgent need for public clarity on safe drinking habits. This essay unfolds the veil on what constitutes safe alcohol consumption, guided by the parameters set by leading health organizations like the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, CDC, and the National Institute on Alcohol Abuse and Alcoholism, NA. When discussing alcohol consumption, it's crucial to begin at the most fundamental level, defining what exactly counts as a single drink. A standard drink in the United States consists of about 14 grams of pure alcohol. While this figure remains constant, the volume of alcohol that this corresponds to differs depending on the type of beverage. For example, this amount of alcohol is typically found in 12 ounces of beer, 5 ounces of wine, or 1.5 ounces of distilled spirits like vodka or whiskey. Understanding these measurements is imperative because the alcohol content can vary significantly even among beverages of the same type. For instance, while a regular beer might contain 5% alcohol, a craft IPA might have as high as 9% or more. Similarly, wines can range from about 12% to 15% alcohol by volume. This variance underscores the importance of knowing not only how much you're drinking, but what exactly you are drinking. Maintaining an awareness of what constitutes a standard drink allows individuals to better track their alcohol intake. This is particularly useful when considering the recommended daily and weekly limits set by health authorities. Using standardized measures helps in accurately assessing personal consumption and aligning it with safer drinking practices. The narrative surrounding how much alcohol is considered safe is guided by exhaustive research and public health campaigns aimed at minimizing alcohol-related harm. According to the CDC, moderate drinking can be defined as up to one drink per day for women and up to two drinks per day for men. These guidelines are not intended as averages over several days, but as limits on daily consumption to significantly reduce the risk of long-term health problems, such as liver disease, cardiovascular disease, and certain types of cancer. But why different guidelines for men and women the answer lies in biological differences. Generally, women absorb and metabolize alcohol differently than men, often leading to faster blood alcohol concentration escalations. This makes sticking to these guidelines imperative for managing health risks effectively. Moreover, the CDC and NIAA stress that these guidelines are not startups for non-drinkers or underaged individuals, but are thresholds meant to constrain the drinking habits of current drinkers to a safer margin. Furthermore, the concept of weekly rather than daily limits, which is prevalent in many parts of Europe, adds another layer for understanding. For instance, having 14 drinks spread over a week does not bear the same risk profile as consuming them in one or two days, which would signify high risk or binge drinking. Understanding the nuances of these guidelines can empower individuals to make 
informed choices about their drinking habits. In conclusion, while alcohol remains a culturally embedded and often enjoyed element of many societies, its consumption is not without risk. Implementing and adhering to public health guidelines is crucial. Knowing how to measure a standard drink and understanding the significance of daily and gender specific guidelines are key components for maintaining not only personal health but also communal well being. As we navigate through increasingly health conscious times, having such knowledge isn't just advisable, it's essential. Such practices foster a healthier society, underscored by informed choices and responsible behaviors.